Hi, I'm Jim Dilley, 6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. Uh, it's 48 degrees and it's about 7.30 at night. Uh, it's going to be cold tomorrow. Probably snow down to about four or 5,000 feet. So while it's doing that, uh, it'd be a good time for me to uh, repair the control boxes that I have. There's one thing that's that all of the control boxes I have have in common, and that is the bulbs have gone out, which is really annoying. I want to leave them on all the time, I, so I, when I look at them, I can tell what direction they're pointed uh, without having to flip the switch. Unfortunately, the bulbs have gone out in all of them, and here's some video I shot a few minutes ago with of the top of the high gain rot rotator. And you can see where the bulb melted the plastic, which has got to be an incredibly dumb design to have the bulb so close to the plastic that it melts it. And that's the second or third bulb I've had in that control box. I found a source uh, for a replacement device, and that is, I'm going to switch over to the screen, that is a Ham Supply uh, in Colorado. and. Uh, the owner is uh, N0UN Wayne, and I've just recently got some package. Whoops, got some packages from him. Um, so here's hamsupply.com. Uh, the next page. I'm going to go to the high gain illuminators. Got high gain and Yesu. So let's look at the high gain. Uh, the high gain has got uh, it's a three LED replacement kit for incandescent meter lamps in high gain slash CDE rotator control boxes. Um, and there's a good picture of what the device looks like. Uh, and as a kit, they're 995 wired and tested. They're 1995. I got both some as a kit and others that are wired so we'll see how long it takes all right so i'm gonna take a break set this up i'll um, wire up a few of these it doesn't look all that hard the ones that are done um, by the way if i were buying it i think I'd, uh, now that i've looked at it you might just want to buy them wired but in any case it's not very expensive it's a lot better than melting the top of the box um, here's one assembled and it's got the three LEDs, uh, the equalizing resistor, uh, the uh, connection for uh, the red and black, so plus and minus. I don't think it gets much easier. There's a shoulder washer and a couple of screws, so that looks pretty good. All right, take a break and we'll, uh, we'll install it and see what happens. That's what the circuit boards look like. There are square tabs and round tabs for the solder. Square ones are for the long leads. Round ones, round tabs, are for the short leads. So you just mount the uh, LEDs, resistors, capacitors, and solder them. The instructions are step by step. That's a finished board, and you can see the uh, uh, two resistors that are on that board. There are two levels of brightness. Um, you can pick one resistor or the other. That's what the board looks like when it's lit up and those are ultra bright LEDs and they're standoffs. That's what your control box looks like after you've mounted the LEDs. In this case I put it on top of the meter with a couple of dabs of uh, glue. Um, on the Yesu there are uh, in the Yesu box holes to accept the two screws, so you screw the thing in place, connect the wires, light it up, and you're done. Uh, that's sort of a before and after of the uh, two control boxes, um, one with the new illuminator board and one without. To order it's hamsupply.com, H-A-M supply.com. They have a bunch of products, uh, Logic Key and, and other things. If you have a question about something, uh, please post it below. If you know the answer to someone's question, please go ahead and answer. Um, if you have not subscribed, uh, please uh, please do subscribe. I'm Jim, W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Thanks for watching. See you the next time. Seven three.